Is it 14 times he didn't turn up when he promised he would, right? Four, you know, 14, t- 14 times, incidentally, where I sat on my ass watching shit daytime television. No offense, Tommy, right, Bob? <laughs> Twiddling my thumbs, watching shit day time. Presumably, he did exactly the same thing round at his house. But then he came. He finally came, right? And, and this is... Have you ever seen anything this incompetent, right? Because you've... Uh, I'm 43, and I've sort of... You know, I've travelled the world, I've seen a thing or two, but I have never seen anything this shit. I've never seen anything this incompetent in any area of life, right? Because he came, this electrician came, and he fitted... He fit, what do you call... Um, you know, double, double plug sockets? The double, he fitted 15 of those, right? 15 of them, all around the lounge, all around the lounge in the dining room. 13 of them, Tommy, are awesome. Awesome. Some of the finest plug sockets you'll ever see in your life. Beautiful pieces of work. Two of them, however, are upside pissing down, right? <laughs> How is that even possible? How have you ever seen that? I've never seen an upside down plug set. Literally, the switches at the top, you push it in. <laughs> Half the light switches are on the wrong way round as well, right? But I thought I can live with that. I was going to complain about that until I saw the, the plug sockets. <laughs> I thought, I'll leave it go, right? Because it's not the end of the world. Some of, the, you know, some of them are on when they're up, some of them are on when they're down or whatever. It's a bit inconvenient, but they all still work. It's until you come to change a light bulb, and then it's Russian roulette, frankly, right? <laughs> I let, I let the light switches go. We've all seen that before, right? But I've never seen upside down sockets, so I rang him, right? And the conversation I had with my electrician is in my anger management diary, right? <laughs> this is the conversation with my electrician because he's put two plug sockets upside down in our lounge. I rang him, right? This is the electrician. I rang him. I said, oh, this is a bit awkward, but you seem to have fitted two of the plug sockets upside down. Do you know what he said, Tommy? Are you sure? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, let me just check. Oh, hang on. My girlfriend's just come in. Her head seems to be roughly the same height as mine. Her eyes are above her mouth. And when we drop things, they fall towards our feet. We seem to be the right way up, mate. (laughs) This is a genuine question from my electrician, Tommy. A genuine question. Would you prefer them all the same way up, would you? (laughs) I I think I would. I'm sorry. I'm old school. What can I say? I can't help it. And he's always on the front foot. He's one of those people, you know, he'll never take a criticism, this guy, right? Because he, he's like, what do you want me to do about it? He's on the phone. What do you expect me to do about it? I said, well, it seems to me you've got two choices, right? One involves you popping back to the house and turning the two sockets round. Right? And the other one involves you trying to persuade the entire world to start living upside down, doesn't it? <laughs> but I, should, I should point out, if you do decide to go down that second route, it could actually involve a lot more work for you in the long run, right? Because... <laughs> Once you've travelled the world spreading the topsy-turvy gospel according to St. Pissing Nut Job the Inverted, right? You'll have to bounce back here on your head and redo the 13 sockets you put on the right way down in the first place. <laughs>